Hello everyone, welcome to Downfall. This is a horror adventure game. It's made by the same person who made The Cat Lady, which was a game that I recently finished and really enjoy, so I'm really excited to try it out. This game actually came out before The Cat Lady, but it actually features, it actually has at least two characters that actually do end up appearing in The Cat Lady. As sort of a reference, I guess, but it's kind of interesting that I'm experiencing it in reverse. I saw them in the Cat Lady not knowing that they had any significance, and now I'm going to actually experience their original story, which should be very neat. I want to thank one of my viewers, David, for suggesting this game to me, because otherwise I might have missed it. So you can get it from Desora, as well as the official site. I'll have links to all that stuff in the description. And as usual, my playstyle is to go slow and really take my time and analyze things, so I'll be doing that as usual. Now, the only other thing to mention, and this is a rather important thing, is... Well... Okay, I, I've been meaning to record this game for a little while. But I've had trouble getting it to... I've, I've had trouble actually recording it. I'll spare you the technical details, but... Basically, my normal method of recording games doesn't work with this one. So I've had to resort to something else that I've never done before. See, normally I have, normally the way I record, I have a separate video track and also a separate audio track for my microphone, which allows me to apply effects to the, apply effects to my microphone audio and also mix the audio levels separately from the game's audio. But since I'm using a different recording method, I'm actually using OBS, which is normally a streaming software, but I'm actually essentially streaming it live to my own PC, basically, which is really weird. And it's the first time I've ever done this. But uh, since I'm doing that, I actually, my microphone audio is mixed into the games, which means I don't have separate control over the two, which means two things. One is that I can't apply a compressor to my voice as I normally do, so it might sound a bit different. The It might be have, it might have more dynamic range, which might not sound as good. We'll have to see. Um, and also the audio levels are definitely not going to be as carefully fine-tuned, because normally I make sure that's pretty much perfect when I'm editing the videos, but in this case, I really can't. I just don't know. I've set it to an audio level that I think should be pretty good, but... But yeah, if, there, if there's technical issues, if the audio's all off, if it's way too quiet or something's too loud, then I must apologize, but I'm doing my best here. Alright, let's get going. New game. Great. The storm is coming. Joe, are we home yet? Where are we, Joe? They're coming. They're coming for you. Come on, Ivy. Just get out of the car, alright? But Joe, can't you see what's happening? We're falling down. Falling into the endless space. Like drops of blood. It's alright, Ives. I'm gonna find a doctor very soon. At least as soon as I find a way out of this town. There's got to be someone in this hotel. Maybe we'll stay for the night and call the doctor? It's raining blood, Joe. How beautiful. Come with me, Ivy. They might be able to help us. I have blood all, I have blood all over my dress, Joe. What will I do? My dear, dear dress. Do you think it's okay if I just lay down? Alright, here's the directions. So, pretty simple. Yep. Left click is interact, and walk right click is examine. Inventory access by the top. Right here, looks like the only thing I have is a cigarette. examine this cigarette. Last cigarette. I should save it for later.
Alright, we should head inside of the hotel. I'm just... I keep peeking over at my OBS window looking at it recording. I can actually see my... I can see what it's recording live and I'm looking at the audio levels. It's very, very strange. It's distracting. And now I'm paranoid that everything's wrong. But no, it, it looks fine. It should be fine. I hope it's fine. Anyway, let's take a look at the environment. What do we have here? Blocked road. There's something interesting out there. The road stops after a few yards. Hmm. So there's the Quiet Haven Hotel, which I believe we saw. Actually, I think we might have even stayed inside of it. Well, I, I'm, I'm thinking back to the cat lady. I'm not sure if we were actually inside of what was once the Quiet Haven Hotel, but I remember the cat lady inside of the basement. There was a sign that said the Quiet Haven Hotel. Almost as if it had been converted or something. So, yeah, I'm not sure if that's meant to be the same building, but it definitely was at least referenced in the Cat Lady. Garden. Town center. And the car. If I follow this road, it'll lead me to the center of the town. I cannot leave now. There's a small garden at the back of the hotel. Can I go there? I need to focus on other things than exploring the garden at the moment. Alright, fair enough, let's go inside. Ah, it's quiet. So you're telling me I can't buy cigarettes here? Oh damn it, I accidentally skipped it. And now in that storm, I won't ever find any shops still open. I'm really sorry. We have a specific smoking policy and it's not allowed on the premises. Screw your policy. I'm a paying customer. I will check out in the morning and find a better hotel. One that sells cigarettes if guests run out. I hope you sleep well tonight. Jesus. She's really angry about some cigarettes. Is it that big of a deal? Ooh, paintings. It's funny, what I should actually be doing here is asking for help, or at least trying to get a room or something, but I, what I actually want to do is just stare at the paintings on the wall. So what the hell, let's do it. Clock. Clocks like this one always hold sinister secrets. <laughs> memo. It's a memo for the hotel guests. Ooh, what does it say? Re-cat in reception. What? All guests are advised to keep their room keys away from our cat, Lucifer, as it's been known to eat them. <laughs> what? You have a cat named Lucifer that likes to eat keys. It's a funny old cat, and this strange habit is something we have no control over. We've already lost room 102 key this way. There have been other keys in the past, but those we luckily managed to retrieve. We sincerely apologize for any inconvenience caused by this management. Alrighty then. A perfect example of what you can find in small towns, art galleries. Leaflets. Leaflets advertising the local festival. Nah. I hate leaflets. A trolley. Every hotel's got one of those. A dead plant. Someone hasn't watered this plant. For about 20 years. How uplifting. <laughs> ah, nothing like a dead plant to lift the spirits. Something that was once green and beautiful, full of life, now dead and rotting. I guess I better ring the bell. That sounded like a doorbell. What the hell? Hi. Woman in her 30s, smartly dressed. Hello. Hello, sir. Uh, my name is Joe Davis. My wife Ivy needs to see the doctor as soon as possible. I'm afraid there's nothing we can do at this time of the evening. It's a small town, you see. 
We have a doctor staying in room 201, though. He practically lives there. Unfortunately, I'm under strict orders not to disturb him after 10 o'clock. He can probably help your wife, so please stay tonight and talk to him tomorrow. The sun and the moon. The eternal battle of life and death. It's okay, Ivy. Just be quiet now. The anger of the devil is upon us. Can't you see that? Hmm. We can call him Dr. Z. A German fellow. I can always call an ambulance, but in the storm, you know. I think we can wait until morning. Thank you. We'd like to rent a room for the night? You're very lucky, sir. We have one vacant room at the moment. Beautiful view, recently refurbished, and it's got a bath. There are skeletons in the cellar, Joe. Please don't go in there. Please! Hmm. You alright? She's fine. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a double bed. Two singles. Is that okay for you? I, well, <laughs> we don't really have a choice. We'll take the room. Lovely. It's on the first floor. The hotel's got four floors altogether. I walked through the mud. <sighs> My new shoes got dirt on them. Ma will be so angry. Please, put it down. Put it fucking down! I don't mean to be rude, but please go and see Dr. Z tomorrow morning if you need some pills to calm this lady down. I'm sure he'll prescribe something. After all, don't we all get a little, a little stressed sometimes? Well, that's the room key. Room number 101. There's a lady staying in room 102 who doesn't like to be disturbed. So please keep it down, alright? I understand the circumstances, but Miss... Chauvert? Not sure how to pronounce that. D ah, damn it, I skipped it. And please come down for breakfast at 8 a.m. Dining room is just down the corridor. Wait a minute, hold on. What is this? Lift. You know, I just had a thought. I wonder if I'm ever even going to leave this hotel. I feel like I might be here for the entire rest of the game. Hmm. How do I leave this window? Whoa. What the hell's up with the lighting here? Back to the ground floor. The fallen angel. What is he thinking about? The surgeon. I wonder if the only reason this strange character is standing in the water is that the artist wasn't very good at painting legs. <laughs> Maybe. That's a definite possibility. No point wandering around the restaurant. I better focus on Ivy. Yeah, let's have a chat with her. My wife, Ivy. She's gone completely mad. Ives? Look, uh, just be quiet for a minute and follow me. But they're everywhere. They watch us. Can't you see them? Are you fucking blind? If you close your eyes, you can see them too. They're waiting. They'll swallow you whole, Joe. They... They... Get away from him! Leave him alone, you goddamn... They've gone now. Who's gone? I don't understand. These bad people. They live in the puddles. They live in the walls, too. They've gone now. But soon they shall return. We'll need to have a serious talk when you stop hallucinating, Ivy. Four. I see four of them. Isn't that funny? Does number four mean something to you? No, Ivy, it doesn't. Why won't you listen to me for a minute? 
No. No, I must do something. I must... It's pointless. We're all dead already. Will I put white roses on my grave? Or will I rot on the bottom of the river with a rope around my neck? Whatever. I am nothing. Always have been. Leave me alone. Let me go. I can't let you go. Look at the state of you. I'm not sure I like any of these options. Don't talk to me anymore. Save it for the shrink. That's a really bad thing to say. I don't want to make this about me. I guess I'll go with what the hell are you doing? You're acting crazy. I'm so frightened. We're all going to die. Down to the ground. Maggots all around us. Down to the ground. Into the darkness. Stop it. What's wrong with you? I saw a woman. She called my name. Over and over again. It's like a song playing in my head. Reaching deep down into the place where only mad people go. Well, wow, all of these options seem really selfish, don't they? I knew you'd spoil it. You always spoil everything. Don't talk to me anymore. Save her for the shrink. I'm so fed up. I don't need this. Hmm. Save it for the shrink? Why is the world turning black and white? Why is... Shut up! I can't stand this anymore! Just follow me. I'll try to find some help. Alright, 101, right here. Wait, wait, where is she? Oh, there she is. I thought maybe she didn't follow me for a second. Why is there a piece of toast on the ground? Hold on a second, Ivy. I know you're hallucinating, but I need to investigate this toast on the ground. Piece of cold toast. Now I've got a piece of cold toast. Now it's a piece of dry toast. It's dry and cold. Alright then. Door's locked. Of course. What's happening to me, Joe? I know something's been really wrong with my head since we left London, but... I have no control over it. Wow, some of these options are horrible. Like this one, I hope you're having a good time playing this stupid psycho bitch in front of everyone. Something tells me the relationship was not exactly great before. Like one of the options was, you spoil everything. You've been saying all these strange, horrible things, Ivy. It's happened a few times before, but never like this. But I'm okay now, aren't I? I think I blacked out and I was dreaming. There was a dead, fat woman in my dream who only wished to kill herself. But she couldn't do it. There was a lot of music and people. Voices calling me. And in the end, there was only darkness. It was warm and safe. But it wasn't really. Okay, hold on. Test, 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 I... I'm looking at the audio levels and I'm wondering if it's too loud. I'm... I'm just gonna... Turn the audio down just in case. Apologies. Test, test, test. Alright, that looks better. It's really hard to visually eyeball audio levels, but... Yeah, ho hopefully it's okay. I'm doing my best here. Okay. Try to put your head down for a while, and in the morning, 
We'll go downstairs to have something to eat. Okay. <laughs> we might if I wake up, you mean. I'm so tired of this. It's going to be okay. Th that doctor will examine you tomorrow. Who? Dr. Z? Who the hell is Dr. Z? Maybe he's fucking Dr. Zhivago or some other movie clown. No, I don't want no fucking doctor. I don't want you either. All this holiday. This bloody silly attempt to save our marriage. Let's say it loud and clear, Joe. Come on. You say it. Please, we shouldn't be too loud. That woman. Say it! Yeah, their relationship is not doing too well, obviously. Hmm. Should I just say it? Okay. I'll say it. There is no love. Our marriage has been dead for months. Good. So we're over the bridge now. It's not only how I feel, but how you feel as well. As soon as this is over, I'm leaving you. It's going to be better for both of us. So, that's it then? This stupid hotel is where we end it all? I... I think I need to lay down, Joe. We'll talk about it later. And don't bloody miss your breakfast. I don't care about fucking breakfast. Why not? We might as well go together. Play happy family one last time. In my dreams, I always visit this place. It's a place of happiness that reminds me of my childhood. No one can reach me here, and no one can hurt me. This is the battlefield on which my ancestor ancestors died with swords in their hands. This is my pillar of reality. It brings peace to my fucked up life. As long as I dream nothing bad as long as I dream nothing bad can happen, can it? Wait, where'd she go? Ivy? Ivy? Where is she? She must have gone downstairs to get that breakfast. But why didn't she wake me up? I better find her. Whoa. Okay, it's giving me binary options. Well, okay, no, it looks like I can move around the environment as well as click these. But wouldn't using the door be the same as pressing leave room? Same with the bed, would be sleeping? I don't know, I should probably save my game, though. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this, by the way. For some reason, even though I've never made a save game, there's mods one and mods one with a little symbol already here. I, I have no idea why. And I can't seem to get rid of that dash at the end. Don't know what's up with that. Well, I just saved my game. Why didn't it? Okay. Save one. Save. Okay. Wait, are you telling me if... If I press enter in this menu, it doesn't save my game, it cancels. N no. It does. I'm so confused, whatever. <laughs> Moving on. Kettle and biscuits. Electric kettle and some chocolate digestives. How nice. I have to say, the word digestives is not very... It doesn't make it... It doesn't make it sound good. In fact, it sounds kind of disgusting. Like, I'm gonna have some digestives. Ugh. It just sounds weird. Tasteless painting of a landscape somewhere in Scotland. A kind of... 
a kind of thing old people get excited about. Just a small chest of drawers. Good job we didn't have much luggage with us. The only thing it's full of is dust. I will definitely come here if I want some tea and biscuits. But it won't be anytime soon. Bathroom towels. Why are there bathroom towels on the bed? I think I'm going to skip bath today. Yeah, okay, let's go look for Ivy. So, I'm not actually sure if you can actually die in this game. So I'm not sure how important saving is. Alright, should be downstairs. In the kitchen. Ivy. Ivy. Whoops. How do I... How do I... How do I go over? Oh, here... We... Go, what the fuck? Good morning. Did you sleep well? It's nice to see you, Mr. Davis. What the hell is going on? Why are there dead bodies here? So many questions. So little, I have to say. All of them are hotel guests who came here to enjoy their breakfast, Mr. Davies. Or Davis. I'm not sure which one it is. Are you mad, woman? They're fucking dead. What's the matter with you? So they are dead. Aren't we all? They still come here, though. Every morning. And every night. Where's my wife? Oh. She wanted me to pass the message. She said she'd take breakfast upstairs for you. Didn't you get your breakfast, Mr. Davis? She couldn't. I haven't seen her since last night. Well, she also met your neighbor, Sophie. They left the dining room together. Ah, that's Sophie. She's quite a charmer. A big lady. But she's definitely got that special... something. They seem to have hit it off quite well. I'd assume they're together in Sophie's room right now, talking. I didn't want to say anything at the time, but... Hmm. Our... Our Sophie isn't exactly the best person to make friends with. I don't get it. Are you saying that this woman can hurt my wife? Well, I never said it. Sophie can be a bit weird. She's had a difficult life, you know. But she's really sweet. I don't think anything bad could happen, but... But what? I really don't want to say it, but I will if you insist. Tell me. Well... The last time she invited someone to her room, I had to pick that poor girl's pieces off the floor for three days. Do you know how hard it is to wash the blood off these carpets? You stupid bitch! You should have told me that earlier! Why didn't you warn her? You should have stopped them! You should have done something! I'm sorry, Mr. Davis. I don't like to get involved. You! I can actually say I'm going to go upstairs and eat my breakfast. If anything happened to Ivy, I'll find you, you twisted bitch. You're a bit too much in my face, Mr. Davis. I don't like when people spit on me. But I've got something for you. Your wife asked me to give you this letter. Take it, Mr. Davis. I heard you shouting last night, you know. Relationship problems? Oh dear. I hope it's nothing serious. What the fuck? These bodies, they don't... They don't look right. They don't even look... Entirely human. Like, what's up with their faces? It's like they don't have faces. They're all dead. What happened here? 
And why are all these wearing these those creepy masks? Is that a fish on the table? This fish stink up the whole restaurant. Or maybe it's them. Ew. Did I just take it? It stinks. Great, now I've got a stinky fish. <laughs> the hell am I gonna do with a stinky fish? Two chaps playing double bass. But are they really brothers? I should probably just go find my wife, but what about this letter? Dear Joe, I didn't want to wake you up, so I went downstairs on my own. You don't have to worry. I'm eating again. There's no need to watch me all the time, like you do. As I'm sat here at the table, I can't stop myself thinking. What's going to happen to us? I tried to understand that you were just worried about me and tried to save me from starving myself to death. I know I've been a silly bitch. But after everything we've gone through, there's this wall between us. We just don't connect anymore. Maybe it is my fault. Fair enough. Things happen. But what if this is the end for us? Will you let me go? Will you just erase me from your life forever? I don't know myself what I want. You see, life is nothing but a dream. Nothing in life really matters. What we say, what we do, what we see. It only matters that we're here. The existence, the closeness. Knowing that when I draw my breath, you draw yours next to me. And you've taken it all away from me. I've become an empty shell, an accessory, a stupid point you have to prove. I might be crazy sometimes, but deep inside, deep inside, I still love you, Joe. Maybe the relationship isn't actually over, necessarily. Is it still recoverable? Maybe. Anyway, let's go find her. Hey, it's Lucifer. So that's the weird cat that eats keys. <laughs> I don't think Lucifer likes me. Don't be afraid. Come to daddy. <laughs> oh, come here, little Lucy. I can do this all day. Alright, so I'm guessing I need the key. Which key was it? Well, we've already lost room key 102. Not sure if that's still inside of it. That would be the one next door. Let's go up. Whoa. No. This can't be. No. God, please, not her. It's gonna be locked, isn't it? No one answers. It's everywhere, but is it leading into our room? It's open. What the fuck? I think I shouldn't leave any... Leave my DNA, DNA on it. Just in case. Is it Ivy's blood? She said it's the most important meal of the day. There's a large knife on the tray. Breakfast. Fucking breakfast. There's a large knife on the tray. I think I might find it useful. I missed the rest. I don't eat breakfast. 
I saw Ivy going to sleep on this bed. Now it's cold and empty. It's got to be the room of that woman who doesn't like to be disturbed. What room is Sophie in? I don't remember. I think she just told me, but I don't remember. Let's go up. Oh, there's no need to go up there. Alright, what about three? Ivy's in room 102. Okay. That's what I thought. So, I definitely need the key from the gat. Now, how would I go about doing that? I could stab the cat, but that sounds really disturbing. Can you combine inventory items? That's pointless. Yep, yeah, you can. Hmm. Do I give the stinky fish to the cat? Hmm. Cat doesn't look interested at all. Well, shit. A cat that isn't interested in fish? What is wrong with you, Lucifer? Stab the cat! I better keep this large knife. I might need it later. That'd be really disturbing if you just outright murdered the cat. Ugh. But then again, if the key is inside of it, how else am I going to get to it if I don't cut him open. Ugh. I really hope I don't need to. Menu. It's a menu for the hotel's dining room. No response. Damn it. I have a feeling this is the part of the game where I get stuck for about a million years. Kitchen door. It's locked. Stab it open. No. Cut the bodies. Yeah. No. No, it's just that it's definitely a, a game that it'd be easy to miss something. Because there's a lot of very small details. What if I go outside? Check out the garden. Nope, can't do that yet. Center of town. Perhaps I should stay in the area of the hotel for now. Okay. Car? Nope. Back inside. Well, I mean, I have some toast. That's pointless. What do you mean combining the fish with the dry, cold toast is pointless? There's totally a point. I'd better keep this toast. I might need it later. <laughs> Those are the two greatest sentences in all of adventure games. I'd better keep this toast. I might need it later. Something to remember in your daily life, too. Don't eat your food. Keep it. You might need it later. You never know. I just realized it kind of looks like I'm barefoot. It doesn't sound like I'm barefoot, but it looks like it. I don't know, maybe it's just like tan colored slippers or something. Oh, oh. There's a staircase. See, very easy to miss stuff. The staircase is just a little tiny section over here. Alright, what's up here? Cellar door? Locked. 
Door to the cellar. Staff access only. Oh, no. Don't go down. The Private Life of Cells. Strange name for an even stranger painting. Rat poison. Ew. Oh, no. Do I have to poison the cat? Looks like they have a problem with mice here. Still, putting a load of rat poison on a piece of paper outside the mouse hole isn't going to solve it. They are clever little buggers, mice. Oh, maybe I just need to attract the rat. But then what do I do with the rat? Give it to the cat? What does that do? Actually, if a cat ate a rat that had just been poisoned, that had just consumed poison, would the cat then die? Because the poison would be inside of the rat. And he just ate the rat. I don't know. Maybe it depends on the nature of the poison. Pile of furniture. Twilight lounge. First floor corridor. This pile of old furniture is completely blocking the stairs. I guess I'll have to use the lift to reach higher floors. Alright, let's try the fish? I don't know. Nope. Toast? I don't know. Take it. Oh, there we go. The rat poison itself actually kind of looks like a piece of toast. Or maybe a cracker. With little bits of dirt on it. Do I actually have to give this to the cat? Because I, I can't seem to use it on my food. I don't know. Whoa. Devil went through? Wait a minute. If that says devil went through, wasn't that a phrase? I, or at least a similar phrase to what I saw in the cat lady? I think it was. Yeah, Devil went through here. I saw that in the Cat Lady. Definitely. Empty frame. There's empty space now where once used to be a painting. I only got dust on my hands. Just an old wooden box. I shouldn't carry old boxes around with me. Okay, fair enough. Just an old empty... Uh, just an empty old cabinet. Nothing interesting about it. That's a lot of blood. Or red paint, whatever this is. Probably probably blood, I think that's a safe bet. I was about to say, what the hell is that? And it looks like the game doesn't know either, or doesn't want you to know, rather. It just says question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Poor interior design is present all over this hotel. This Greek sculpture is a perfect example. It's just a sculpture. I can't do anything with it. There's no bird inside. Just an ordinary coffee table. It looks like a mummy. What is it doing here? It would just fall into pieces if I touched it. Oh, that's a mirror. Holy crap, that's a huge mirror. Large mirror. There's something strange about it. It's almost like if I can see something on the other side. Hmm... Is there some way I could clean it? Well, I don't have any cloth, so not really. Red vase has been knocked over. What the hell? <laughs> I won't need vase or dead flowers. It's not like I'm going to make a potpourri or, or something. What? It looks empty. Hmm. 
Alright, I'm just gonna leave now. Goodbye. Let's save again. <laughs> three equals four. Did I really just type three equals four? Let's try that again. There we go. First floor corridor. Gotta love meself a corridor. Oh, you can actually go to the staircase by going down here. Nothing there that I could use. And I'm certainly not cleaning up. Alright, what about biscuits? I could even sleep, I suppose, but... God, I don't want to sleep. Knowing she's in danger. Nope. I guess I'm going to try to poison the cat? Do I actually have to do that? I better keep this rat poison. I might need it later. Okay, good. Does that mean I don't need to poison the cat? Because I really don't want to. Wait a minute, what'd you say? I can't use the rat poison with the leaflets. What do you mean you can't use the rat poison with the leaflets? What else would you do with rat poison if not use it on the leaflets? Jeez. So particular. Oops. Cat doesn't look interested at all. I'm not, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I need to do. Like, if I'm gonna get the key, don't I need to... Like, cut open the cat, or make it sick and throw up, or something? I don't know. I don't friggin' know. Alright. Can you, like, highlight everything by pressing space or something? No. I wish you could highlight stuff. Be awfully useful. I'm trying a bunch of different keys just to see. Tab? No. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really not sure what to do with this. I could try going to sleep. No one. Any chance I can take the bathroom towels? Nope. Alright, take a nap. I'm not tired right now. <laughs> Why'd you even give me the option then? Jeez. Well, will this count as my curse of getting stuck in the first... of always getting stuck in the first puzzle in an adventure game? It kind of is the first puzzle. Actually, yeah, it, it actually is the first puzzle, isn't it? I mean, I've been playing for a while, but this is the first time it's actually been a puzzle. And the rest was just dialogue. So, yeah, the curse continues. And this time I could be missing many things. There might be a location I didn't realize I can go to. There might be something in the environment I missed. It's not entirely clear what you can click on. This one is quite ugly, actually. Yeah, well, Joe, your face is ugly. Dick. Alright, what if I just feed it my key? Here. I can't use the room 101, uh, the key 101 with the dining room. What? Use it on the cat. I've got something for you. Come and taste it. <laughs> it's actually working? Got you. Now let's talk about that bloody key. Wait, 
What the hell? What do I do with it? Do I actually have to cut it open? Please tell me I don't. I'm not. See I'm not really seeing some good options here. I see stab it. I see poison it. I suppose I could read it this touching letter from my wife, but I doubt that's going to make it spit up the key. How about some toast? <laughs> oh my god, look at the look at the icon for the cat. That's an awesome little picture. Hmm. Oh, I know. I'll use the cat on the door. I can't use the cat with a room 102 door. God damn it. All right. Do I actually need to cut it open? Please, please don't work. What? That's cruel. The cat will die. But there's no other... Oh, no! Oh. Just like you've seen on ER, Joe. Oh. That is really disturbing. I just murdered a cat. Alright, well, moving on. Poor Lucy. It looks dark. Oh, that's not dark at all. What the fuck? This room. It's like a different reality. All the colors are gone. All but the color of blood. This must be some kind of dream. Still. It feels so real. No, I I'm pretty sure I'm awake. Well, that's not Ivy. Where is Ivy? It's interesting. This background, it looks like it was sketched in pencil or something like that. Just the aesthetic of it is very interesting. And it looks like the wall is filled with images of screaming people contorted in agony. This wall seems alive. I won't touch it, unless I really have to. Her dress is covered in blood. There's a large silver necklace around her neck. A tortured body chained to the ceiling. I don't want to examine it any closer. This cage is empty. Was this girl kept in there? Or maybe Ivy was. Let's, um, let's have a chat with her. I can feel her pain. Eating her from inside. Eating me. Alive. Who are you? Are you Sophie... Chauvet? Am I? No, not yet. I'm just a little girl. It used to be okay. I used to be happy. But these days, all I can see is the ocean of sadness. She shouldn't have told me all this stuff. It's too much, you see. What stuff? What are you talking about, girl? I keep having this dream, you see. I'm trying to stay awake. But sometimes I have to sleep, and then it comes. Sometimes it's hard to say what is dream and what is real. But usually I can tell. I can tell, because that's when she comes. That crazy bitch. She wants me to do... things. I don't want to. But she's got her ways. She says I'm her. 
I'm just a childhood memory of that bitch. I shouldn't exist, but I'm here. You can see me, can't you? You can touch me. I'm still warm. I bleed. I'm just a little Sophie Chauvert, but I've seen what I'll become. I'm stuck in this prison of a room for eternity, unable to leave, separated from my true self. There are four of us here in this hotel. Four different memories of Sophie Chauvert. How pathetic. Soon, she will come to you in your dreams too. Here, she is the god. And she sets the rules. This room, and all this blood. What's going on here? She was hungry again. She's always hungry, you see. She needs to eat to be beautiful again. So she found this woman. Black hair, glasses. A pretty one. She took her away. She took her to her hiding place, on the other side of the mirror. And when she's ready, she will swallow her like an oyster. <laughs> what? She wants to eat her? <laughs> that bitch is always hungry, you see. The bitch needs to eat to gain weight. He said she was too skinny. So she started stuffing herself with anything she found. I mean... I don't want that to happen to me. Please help me, mister. If you promise to help me, I will tell you how to save your wife, you know? Let's say you're telling the truth. Where's that hiding place she took Ivy to? It's a secret. I shouldn't tell. But I want her to die so much, I will bend the rules. It's very easy, mister. You just have to kill me and three other memories of Sophie Chauvert. If you do that, you will open the passage to her hiding place. It will be like the bitch never existed. But, how do I know if you're telling the truth? Look around you. You're not in the same place. You've entered the mad world of Sophie now. Isn't that enough proof? Kill a little girl? How could I possibly do something so horrible? You killed the cat, didn't you? How? I can see a lot of things, mister. And I know you're capable of killing me too. I'm just a memory anyway. We kill memories every day. Is there any particular way you want to die? I'm afraid of pain. Whatever you do, don't make me suffer more than I already have. Am I supposed to believe that? She'll come to me in a dream? <laughs> We're in a world of madness here, mister. This hotel, you see, it's her playground. I know you cannot possibly understand now. Later. When you close your eyes, mister, the real Sophie Chauvert will visit you. She'll come to you in your dreams. And she's nothing like me. You'll see for yourself soon enough. If she even touched Ivy, I will kill her with my bare hands. The only way you can kill her is by killing all four memories from her life. You can find them all over the hotel. Maybe there's still a chance for your wife. <laughs> you should hurry up, though. The bitch. She feeds on human flesh. She's going to hurt your wife. Oh yes, she is. But please, kill me first. I'll leave you now, but you will see me again soon. Go then. But please come back and do what you have to do. Oh my god. I need to kill her painlessly. <laughs> what, do I give her rat poison? Is that a painless death? I doubt it. 
There are bricks now where once used to be a window. Also, what she was talking about was Sophie. How she needed to eat. Isn't that something that happened with my wife as well? Yeah, was it mentioned here? Oh, I just skipped it, yeah. Hold on. You don't have to worry, I am eating again. There's no need to watch me all the time like you do. So... It sounds like she's having issues eating properly. And since this does seem to be a world of madness, and I'm pretty sure it's a fair bet to say that this takes place at least partially inside of... our minds? Joe and Ivy? Or just Joe, or just Ivy, or something like that? Whether it's both of them, or just one of them, I'm not sure. I feel so tired. I really need to lie down. Just for a few minutes. <laughs> Great. What am I going to dream about? Sophie? But yeah, I'm thinking there's a connection, because she mentions, mentioned something about weight and eating. And it certainly would fit in with the sort of theme of the Cat Lady. And that the game sort of takes place inside of the character's mind, in a way. Or at least most of the things that happen are an expression of the character's thoughts. Hmm. Anyway. Well, I'll save the, the wonderful dreaming. Which should be very, very fun. And not full of nightmares and horrible murders and terrible imagery at all. Oh no, it's going to be a pleasant dream. I'll save that for the next episode. I would play longer, but I want to end this here because I want to check the video to make sure that it is actually working right. I'd hate to record for like three hours and find that everything is wrong. So yeah, I'm going to check the video. Hopefully it, uh, you know, hopefully the audio is not too bad. Hopefully the mixing is not too bad. And yeah, I'll be back soon, and thank you for watching.